Hello, happy Wednesday. Um, today I just wanted to share with you guys what I have been melting the past week or so. Um, we are on spring break here, so I feel like I was able to get through quite a bit for some reason because I've been home mostly. Um, so that's been nice. I've been using my green themed basket, but I've also kind of straight a bit um, from it here and there. So let me share with you things that I have um, used up. So first from Scoopable Wax, I used Love Story, um, which is described as a beautiful, strong combination of sweet and tart scents collide to make your own love story. So this is um, a dupe of Victoria's Secrets love spell. Um, I don't think like a dead on, definitely not a dead on dupe and not my favorite combination, like my favorite dupe of um, love spell, but still really good. I definitely enjoyed that. Um, let's see, I think I have a few from Hayden Row. Yes, indeed. So I have Black Sea Barber from Hayden Row. This was a nice scent. To me, this was very light. Um, super strong on cold. And it, like a very, it smelled like very complex on cold. I melted this in my downstairs half bath. And I honestly got like four, four melts. Whoops, there's a little fuzz. Hanging, um, four melts from this. Um, and it did last a long time. It was just very, it was a very like subdued scent, but nice. I did enjoy it. Um, another one from Hayden Rowe is Elixir, which oh, is so good. Just a beautiful, um, really clean, fresh scent. I think Sasha said that this, um, was like hot bath from Lake Providence Lodge. I think she said Elixir was... Um, you know, maybe like a cousin or something like that to it. And, um, I enjoy, I loved Hot Bath from Lake Providence Lodge. You'll see that this is, the top is split, um, which is an easy fix. Just pop it into a po polypropylene bag and you are good to go with that. Um, so that was really nice. Very, very long lasting and strong. Um, so I really did. I really like that, and I've had that scent multiple times. From K Scented Melts, I melted Bonsai, which, oh my God. This is so good. So, so good. Just clean. And this was a green wax, which is why I used it. I'm pretty sure this was green. Um, so good if you love, like, clean, fresh scents um like perfect for when you're cleaning your house now that it's officially spring just like a great great like invigorating scent i really really love that and i would definitely repurchase that some more from k i melted arugula oh my god i love this oh, this is so good and it's funny because i held off melting it because i thought my kids were going to complain about it but they even asked <clears throat> excuse me what the scent was and they loved it too they asked if they could have it in their bedrooms so i'm going to be doing that i need to change their wax out today um, and i do have more of the bonsai so i'm gonna share that i mean the arugula i bought a lot of those so i'm gonna share that with them another one from Kay. i melted espresso and i think her espresso is my absolute favorite it's not, it doesn't have that like burnt or sharpness to it that sometimes espresso um, scents can come across. Just a beautiful, delicious, fresh poured cup of espresso. Really, really enjoyed that. Um, another one from Kay is Flowering Herbs. I've talked about this before. This is fantastic. I lost the top to the espresso. Um, this is so, so good. Love this in bedrooms. Again, 
if it was a green wax, which is why I melted that really good. It definitely would be a repurchase for sure. Um, gingered bergamot. Oh, I've talked about this one too. So amazing. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I don't necessarily, I think I've talked about this. I don't really get like masculine, maybe like a soft masculine, but just like a clean, fresh, um, maybe like a clean, fresh, showered man. Maybe that's how it, a good way to describe it. I'm not sure, but I love that. And I will always melt that scent. From Destination Wax, I melted fresh balsam. Yes, I am aware that it's March, but this is, I just had like um, a third of it left. So I used it up in my kitchen one night after cooking. And this is described as balsam fir, cedar, and eucalyptus. And they compare it to a Bath and Body Works type. This is so good. Such a great, great scent. Love it. We'll definitely get more of that for Christmas. Um, I also melted, which I'm sad I don't have more of this because this is so beautiful. This is from Destination Wax and it's apricot black tea and it's just black tea with a hint of apricots. Um, more than a hint of apricot. This is so good. This is definitely equal parts of black tea and apricot. I love this and actually have the last piece of it going right here in this tea light warmer. Um, it's so strong and good. I put, um, like I said, I cut it into thirds and I had a third going in um, my centerpiece warmer in my kitchen and then a third going um, in my Glade warmer, both in my kitchen on separate ends of the kitchen and just such a beautiful, beautiful scent. I put them in, I want to say like yesterday afternoon and I keep those warmers on all the time. And obviously the centerpiece warmer turns off after nine hours and then I just turn it back on when I realize, and I can still, I can still smell those scents. Probably will only get like another hour or so of scent from there, but that's pretty long lasting and it's just a really beautiful, nice scent. There's no perfume. It's just really what it says it is. It is apricot and tea and it is so, so good. So if you like tea scents, if you are a fan of apricot, strongly, strongly suggest getting that. Okay, moving on to, oops, and one more um, scent shot. Another ginger bergamot, which we've already talked about. So there is that. Again, sticking with the green um, theme for March and I always manage to spill things. Okay. So on to clams. I melted elf from, um, super tarts, which is, I can't read it, but I think it's like a ginger ale. It's definitely an effervescent scent and I'm pretty sure this is green, which is why I finished it up. That was really, really nice. Um, I melted warm rustic woods. How I have never purchased this and used the scent before, I do not know. Somebody recommended how good it was. It might have been Heidi. Um, this is so beautiful. And I just kind of steered away from it. I think because I thought it was going to be like a manly scent. But it really isn't. It's just a really beautiful, um, really a beautiful scent. They made this in like a perfume. I would wear this. So this I do not have any more of and I do want to get it. And I'm sure, I don't know if it's just like at Walmart during the winter, but I'm going to be looking for it because it is that good. I melted um, Tropical Island Dream from Better Homes and Gardens, which is one of their newer scents for spring. And this was just like fruity, fruity and like floral. Um, but nice. It was pretty good. It really was very strong at first, but kind of like after the four hour mark, um, I couldn't really smell it anymore. And I did two cubes each time I melted it. I would get it again. Um, but I don't need any more Walmart wax. So you had to see this one go. This is Sensational's Linen Closet. Just a laundry scent. Um, 
I think like a wet, like a wet laundry when you're transferring your laundry from the washing machine to the dryer, but this was the big value pack. I'm pretty sure that room, I think Ramona sent me that. That was so good. I melted this. I first was just melting it like in my bathrooms. And then I just started melting it like at different times all over the house. And it's just a really nice, just your house just smells like fresh, clean laundry. So that was really good. Um, a couple more clams. I melted Cuddle Up, which says Tonka. Tonka, and I can't even read that. I don't have many lights on. This was so good from Sensationals. Just, again, like a beautiful, clean, fresh scent. This is very long-lasting. Really, really enjoyed that. I would definitely seek this one out and get it again. Really nice. Perfect, really, for anywhere in your house. And also, like, bedrooms, bathrooms, anything like that. And I melted Pacific Coast Highway, which was another new spring um, scent. And I just watched... Um, Ramona's uh, Wax Wednesday review and she reviewed this. I had asked. I was the first one to respond last week when she asked. So um, she melted hers. I melted mine. And we got th totally different scents on this which I love about um, wax. Everybody smells different things. Our noses are different. And um, this to me I got like straight up candy like a sugary candy with like a hint of like a very light back note of floral. But this was so good. Totally not what I expected at all. And I like it. And I have one more of these. Um, I melted. I, did I do the whole clam at one time in different warmers? I may have. But it was very strong for like four hours. And then on the fifth hour, it was like super, super light where I needed to... Um, dump it and try something else, which is fine. That's still a pretty good amount of time. And when I'm home all day, I don't mind changing out um, my wax. Oh, I just found another flowering herbs, which is so good. So, so good. Okay. Just when I was about to give up on the Yankee Candle Centerpiece um, Easy Melts, I found Bahama Breeze in my wax drawer. This did not disappoint. This is so good. Um, really, really strong. I take the centerpiece cup and I cut it into fourths and then I just melt it all at once in like in my centerpiece and then three other warmers. Um, this lasted a really, really long time and it seriously tasted, tasted, smelled like a, uh, like island vacation this was really good now when i'm smelling the lid i get that cat pee smell however it did not smell like that at all when it was melting um i will continue to buy this these um easy melts when they're on sale only because i use i have two centerpiece warmers and i need to reuse those the containers that these come in to you know, I just, I hot dump and then I just add wax to it and I just clean that container out. Um, so I do need to have um, these uh, easy melt cups. If anybody ha knows of something different to put in to the centerpiece to melt, let me know because um, I'm willing to try something else. But that did not disappoint. I melted from Rainbow Melt strawberry kiwi, which was sweet strawberry and kiwi, and that's exactly what this was. Very strong, very long lasting. Um, I'd say 12 hours in a bedroom warmer. I melted the last of my Love Spell from Swanky, and I love her Love Spell. I'm not sure who has my favorite yet, um, but this was fantastic. Loved it. Would definitely get that again from Swanky. I melted black chamomile from K Scent Melt. Fantastic. Love, love, love this scent. Um, just a great tea scent. Nothing like crazy, but it's so good. I melted from Hayden Row Beach Linen. This was awesome. I had this going 
in multiple warmers upstairs and it was just a really great um, scent. Not, to me, it was not crazy, crazy strong, but it was enough. It was enough that it scented up the rooms that I was melting it in and I knew what I was melting. I didn't have to hover over. You could walk in, you smelled it. It's a nice smell. Probably got about between six and eight hours out of that. From Vintage Chic Scents, I melted Kensington Palace, which I honestly cannot remember the scent notes. This was sent to me, oh my gosh, such a long time ago by Jody, Jody McLaughlin, who is um, here on YouTube. If you do not subscribe to Jody, you should definitely check out her channel. She hauls awesome stuff. She melts awesome stuff. She's so funny. Um, and I love watching her. And lastly, I think, oh, no. Um, one of my last ones is from Zape, and it is Therapy. And Therapy is suntan lotion, exotic blooms, tropical berries, and beach waves. So this was good. I didn't know exactly what they were saying when they said beach waves. It was gonna if it was gonna be that salty sea air, but this is this was really good. Again, melted this mostly upstairs in like the halls, in bedrooms, and really, really enjoyed this. Probably got about six six hours when melting that. And this from that smell good shop, banana pudding. I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered the big Mama Jamma. It's like a 16 pack, six ounce. Um, I, this was okay. I didn't love it. I wish I could have thought of something to blend it with. I should have, you know, maybe strawberry or something. This just, it just, this is just not for me. And I should know that with banana scents to be a little bit more careful when I'm picking them out. It kind of had, it wasn't like banana pudding. It kind of had like a caramelized banana to it. It was okay. Um, I would not get this again. Um, and it wasn't super strong either, which I mean, I guess banana, you wouldn't, you know, really need it to be. But yeah, so that's everything. That is everything that I melted from, oh my gosh, when? From... March 11th to the 19th. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going with my green basket. I have gotten through a lot, I think, of green wax. I also have been melting um, from Swanky, my beloved um, chamomile and sage, which I love. Um, I'll continue to melt more of that. And yeah, I'm not so solely melting green wax, so you will see other things, you know, like I did the apricot black tea, the fresh balsam I believe was a white um, wax, tropical island dream. There's a bunch in here that were not white, but I also wanted to use up things that I only had one or two um, like pieces or if something had been like cut into thirds or whatever and I only had one left. I just kind of wanted to use that up and enjoy, enjoy what I have. So that is everything. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.